Damn. Damn. So, guess what, everybody? This is my new best friend. What's your name again? Kelly. Yeah, that's right. So, anyway, I find out that, you know, the warm-up comedian says to me, Kelly's always wanted to be in a cold open, and Kelly's like, no way, I don't. I don't want to be in a cold open. And then the makeup girls were fixing my hair, and he said, I'll be in it if the girls will fix my hair when they call them. And they never did. No, and they never showed up. I don't know where they're at. It's the story of my yeah. life, Craig. To, to Yen and Lisa, yeah. yeah. They're there. Come on out, girls. Look at the state of this guy's hair. Uh, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. They smell nice, too. Oh, oh, nice. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thanks. Lisa and to you and everybody. Lisa and to you. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> you begin to see how awesome my life really is, don't you? <laughs> Just beginning. Yeah, I know. But you know what? Yeah, Craig. They don't 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 use my name, man. Uh, <laughs> we're not there yet. We're just not there yet. Where are you from? Uh, Washington State. You have to think about that because you're hot. Because if you're from Washington State, you're probably, you enjoy the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you'll be happy if you know it's National Donut Day then, today. <laughs> do you enjoy the donuts? Of course I do. You're just, you're just agreeing with me because we're on TV. Probably. Yeah, you were... <laughs> you were being a real son of a bitch before the camera turned around. Now you're all kind of sweet and lovely and pleased because the girls were futzing with your hair. Yeah, it's really messed with my head. You got really nice hair, though, dude. Thanks. I call him Craig again. I noticed, but I'm okay with it now. Are you going to stay for the whole show? Oh. I wasn't really planning on it. Oh. Well, where should, should I just say it? Yeah, yeah. You, well, you, where the whole you? show. Well, <laughs> dude, where were you gonna go? It's like 1.30 in the morning in your region. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the girls? I'm gonna get my fix. Yeah, no, no, you don't. No, we don't. CBS doesn't condone this kind of behavior. <laughs> we gotta take a commercial break. That's the realities of my life. It got weird. Yeah, it got a little awkward. It just got weird. <laughs> All right, man, we'll take a commercial break, and uh, one of us will be here when we get back. Perfect. <laughs> the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Windows 7. is over. The warm-up comedian no longer has any sway over you. Sit down. Everything's fine. You no longer
longer have to listen to the warm-up comedian. You have to listen to the cool-down comedian. That's right. If you're turning on the TV and you're in a good mood, I'll get rid of that for you. Oh, there he is again. That guy. Although, I have to say, it is indeed a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. No, it is. It, it is a great day for him. I'm very excited because it is Angelina uh, Jolie's birthday today. Oh, I love her. And also, it's also the birthday of the British comedian Russell Brand. <laughs> now, Angelina Jolie and Russell Brand are very different. Of, actually, they're not that different. <laughs> One of them's got a beard, I can't remember which one. No, Angelina Jolie and Russell Brand, very different, of course. One, one is the sexiest woman in show business, and the other one is Angelina Jolie. So right there! There's a huge dark. No, actually, Russell's my friend. Happy birthday, Russell. Sexy thing. Uh, today, of course, uh, uh, a national holiday, National Donut Day today. It is. It is! I know you're like, what? No, don't... Too late. Don't applaud now. You didn't know. You forgot National Donut Day. I hate you. You fruit National Donut Day. National Donut Day is always the first Friday in June. It's perfect when everyone's trying to get into shape for bikini season. National Donut Day. <laughs> Looks like another one piece for the summer for me. I love National Donut. Do we have a graphic for the uh, National Donut Day? for Russell Brand and Angelina Jolie, though, having your birthday on National Donut Day, because, you know, it's kind of like two great days in one. <laughs> anyway, to celebrate National Donut Day, this is true, Dunkin' Donuts has given away free donuts. Oh, oh, uh, 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 the vagrants from around Los Angeles that make up our audience are like, oh, free donuts? Why are we doing sitting here? And the good news is, there is a Dunkin' Donuts right around the corner from CBS here. The bad news is, Drew Carey's already been there, so... <laughs> yeah, it's me punching the crap out of my friends tonight. I don't know why, that's it. Take that, Russell Brand and Drew Carey. Two guys that have never been anything but nice to me. <laughs> Do you know what, Dunkin' Donuts, though, they're, they're, they're planning to build 15,000 more stores. They're expanding faster than their customers. <laughs> National Donut Day, anyway. Yeah, it is. It's National Donut Day. It became an official holiday back in 1938. It started when FDR shot and killed a herd of jelly donuts on the top of Mount Rushmore. <laughs> Look it up in the Wikipedia. It's true. <laughs> it's not really a source, Wikipedia. I, I, would, I would caution you, uh, college students, Wikipedia is not a source. <laughs> It's not. It's just Wikipedia. According to the Wikipedia, I can play the harp and I've got three nipples. Oh, yeah. And I can't play the harp. What am I talking about? Donuts. It's Donut Day, Jeff. Excellent, yeah. Craig. Yeah, all right, Jeff. He doesn't eat a lot of donuts. Your point... Anyway, I've never understood why they're called donuts, is what I'm saying. They don't have nuts on them. The, the word nuts should... <laughs> well, they don't! Not in my house, anyway. The nuts... <laughs> Most of the time. The word, the word nuts should only be used in things that have nuts, like uh, Lady Gaga. Right there! You... <laughs> oh, it's a joke! Now get off! It's a joke! Take that! Take that, Lady Gaga, who I like, uh, Drew Carey, who's my friend, and Russell Brand. Take that, everybody who I like or who's my friend. <laughs> anyway, I, I like donuts. When I, was, when I was younger, a younger man, I had a faster metabolism. I ate a lot of donuts. But whenever I ate powdered donuts, the powder would get all over my face, and it would look like I'd been doing tons of cocaine. <laughs> now, strangely enough, the same thing used to happen when I would do tons of cocaine. <laughs> 
people would say, whoa, Craig, you're a bit speedy. Have you had a lot of powdered donuts? I'd be like, yeah. I've been eating donuts all day. Do you know that Americans consume over 20 billion donuts every year? Now, I can see why. They, uh, they're a combination of the best parts of two nutritious foods. You get your cake and fried chicken. They're kind of like a mixture of cake and fried chicken. Spongy like cake, but with the greasy goodness of, of fried chicken. And best of all, you can enjoy donuts and nothing has to die, except your dignity. <laughs> and eventually, you. <laughs> donuts are very popular with three groups of people. Junkies, because they like the sugar high. Anorexics, because they like the calorie rush. And overweight people who are just keeping it real. But don't... <laughs> I've had a lot of cocaine today! <laughs> now, donuts come in a lot of different shapes and sizes. They're like Kardashians. I never liked the... <laughs> I never liked the big full-size donuts. You know, because I like the little donuts. I don't like the big, huge ones. They're like sugary bagels. <laughs> By the way, sugary bagels is the name that I danced under when I was in the clubs and... <laughs> When I, when I was working as a dancer in Tel Aviv. <laughs> Gentlemen, please welcome Sugary Bagels. Have a Nagila, have a Nagila. That's right. Oh, yeah. <sighs> well, it's that time again. It's the commercial break time. <laughs> Any donut commercials tonight? <laughs> I think we just did a giant donut commercial right now. <laughs> do you uh, do you enjoy sugary uh, sugary bagels, Jeff? Excellent, Craig. <laughs> He's a bit like Mr. Burns, isn't he? <laughs> oh yeah. But of course, nothing like him for copyright reasons. We gotta do the commercial break, stop talking. You first. <laughs> commercials, commercials, I'm like. <laughs> Take a break, we'll be right back. Jeff. Tweets and emails are up next. Play the jingle. Don't be all bitter, cause you ain't a winner. And I'm your babysitter. Check your damn Twitter. Check the tweets. And also emails. Wait, wait, wait. I'd just like to thank the studio audience for that excellent clapping along with the email jingle. And reminding me that hobos have no sense of rhythm. All right, I'm going to do the tweets and the emails. I'm going to do it with my new best friend, Kelly. Are you up for this? I... You've never seen this show before, have you? I didn't even want to be here, Kelly. All right, all right. Well, what happens is, what happens, <laughs> thanks for your honesty, the, uh, what happens here is really wacky, now, people send in the emails and the Twitters, have you heard of the, you're a young fella, you'll know the Twitter and the Tweety and stuff, right, but well, people tweet me and the, and the emails and they ask me questions and stuff, and then I ask them, it's great. <laughs> all right. Well, you'll be able to help me out, man, all right, this is from Elizabeth in Dallas, Texas, all right, do you know her? I never met her. All right. <laughs> She says, uh, dear, dear Craig and Kelly, which is weird. I didn't know how she knew you were going to be here, but... <laughs> dear Craig and Kelly, am I a freak if I am 19 and never been kissed? What do you think, dude? Yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> CBS kiss. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, have you ever been to Canada? Yeah. Really? What part? Uh, Vancouver. 
That's pretty near Washington, right? Well, yeah, no, the drinking age is 19, so most... What, what age are you? 25. 25? So I went when I was 19. Yeah, all right, yeah. And then what, you went drinking at 19, didn't make it back to you at 25? You're my type of guy, young fella, that's right. All right. This is from uh, Alec in uh, Almonte in Ontario, which I think is in Canada, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Almonte. Uh, he says, Dear Craig and Kelly, which is weird. I have no idea. I, uh, a lot of people seem to get the emails in fast. So, Dear Craig and Kelly, do you have any advice on finding a job in this tough economy? What do you think about that, young shaver? Don't judge me. It's what I do. If, if you'd ever seen this, I can do you would know. Just don't know you're gonna throw stuff. No, I'm not gonna. I don't. It's not. It's. I don't throw stuff. I, I just. I throw in a bit of paper and then during the commercial break I go and get it. But imagine how he feels. What's his name again? Uh, I can't remember. You see, I'm not. I'm not disrespecting him. It's just like I was asking you the question that he wanted you to answer, and now we've both forgotten it. <laughs> What was the question? I, no, no, I forgot it. Uh, anyway, uh, CBS cares. Do that with your hands. Say CBS cares. CBS, CBS cares. cares. Yeah, all, right. all right. Do you do you have a do you have a Twitter account yourself? I do not. Well, you should get one because uh, probably should. Yeah, because all the young folks like me have got them. <laughs> all right. This is an, this is from Izzy and uh, Knock Knock uh, Knock. Dallas, uh, in Texas. What does that say? Knock, knock a douche. Knock a douche? No. No, it's pretty close. Oh, knock a douche? Is that knock a douche? Knock a douche is it's knock, douche plural. Actually, he's right. It's knock a douche. It's knock a douche. This is from AZ and knock a douche is in Texas. Yeehaw! Uh, as he says, it's one of them names. As he, you don't know if it's a boy or a girl, right? Do you know the best way to find out? How? Check the genitalia. <laughs> it's a really quick way. <laughs> yeah, you might not want to do that in Nagadoucious, Texas, though. <laughs> anyway, uh, Izzy says, have you ever had grits for breakfast? Do you like them? Have you ever had grits, Kelly? No. Do you know what they are? I know what, like, grit is, but I don't know. It's not actual grit for putting on a roll. <laughs> Grit, like dirt, but I don't... Yeah, yeah. You can eat... Have you eaten dirt for breakfast? I've never had. <laughs> what do you eat for breakfast, then? Coffee. Coffee? <laughs> do, you, do you drink coffee for breakfast and listen to Nirvana? <laughs> I'm usually wearing flannel, too. Yeah, yeah, you're like... Yeah. I couldn't remember any, no, any Nirvana tell. songs there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know, I just went doody doody do. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty close. What music do you like? You're 25. You like the music? I like, like uh, I like Nirvana. Yeah, you like. Do you like the Justin Bieber's? <laughs> you're, you're embarrassing me. I don't know. I don't know what. The you don't Justin know who the Justin Bieber is? Ah, right, that's that's what all the kids are listening to, man. You're losing touch. <laughs> all right. Yeah, we got to do a commercial break again. And then you have to leave, because then, you know, celebrities are coming. I told you I didn't want to be here in the first place. Yeah, I know, I know, but... <laughs> All right. Kelly, everybody, we'll be right back. Take a look at the world of sport from the perspective of our friends across the pond. And by pond, I mean the Atlantic Ocean. Yes, it's time for another segment of ESPN UK. Take a look at this. Good evening. I'm Sir Cecil Wellesley Hogg. Hey. I'm Dirk Weems. I once smoked Amy Winehouse's crack, and then I did her drugs. Booyah! 
The eyes of the sporting world are on South Africa, where next weekend the 2010 World Cup gets underway. England was favoured early until superstar David Beckham was sidelined with an injury. Oh, what a surprise. A guy with the voice of a nine-year-old girl turns out to be fragile. <laughs> Beckham sounds more like Rackham. Get it? You get it? Yes, Dirk, and so will tonight's guest, English soccer legend and current team manager of England, Stanley Wilson. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here, so thank you. Pleasure to be here. Hi, uh, Stanley. I was just kidding about the Beckham thing. I'm sure he'll be uh, up and squealing around like a little baby in no time. Uh, 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 do don't hurt me. Uh, 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 Dirk's uh, uh, currently simpering makes a good point, Stanley. Your uh, uh, playing career was occasionally marred by acts of violence. Uh, you, uh, 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 you once shoved an entire soccer ball down a referee's throat. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, and then he pulled it out the other end. <laughs> That's true, that's true, and I'm not proud of it, but I've changed since then, eh? Ha, 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 ha. These days, I spend my time working for charity. Charity. So, so now you, you beat people up for free, then, do ha, you? Ha, 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 ha. No, 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 no. I raise money for disadvantaged youth. Which brings us to your latest venture, a set of commemorative plates ha, to raise ha. money for this most worthy cause. Ha. Yes. This one is me celebrating uh, my, uh, my, my, my winning gold cup in 1966 final. Woof! Yeah, and yeah, a, yeah. An historic moment for English soccer. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And, and this is me uh, uh, playing, uh, playing for Chelsea. Uh. <laughs> can, you, can you all see that? Playing for Chelsea, crushing Dirk's nuts. Ah! Mm, mm. FA Cup 1970, look at the power. His nuts are indeed crushed. It's true, they, uh, uh, they still get numb when it's cold outside. Uh, 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 cold and numb. Uh, 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 uh. Now, this one's my favourite. You're, you're Bane Dirk's wife, Martina. While he looks on through a window, openly weeping. Enjoyable, to be sure, but I'm not sure it's an athletic achievement. Oh, oh yes, it was. Martina and I got quite athletic that night, didn't we, Dirky? <laughs> <laughs> athletic? Uh, uh, more like pathetic, but I guess that's what happens when your squad's undersized. What are you getting at? Take it for me, folks. Stanley's charity isn't the only thing... Well, it is the only thing, actually, that he's got that's well endowed. Do you see where I'm going? <laughs> Shut your mouth, Dirk. Remember the old rhyme about you, your teammates used to sing, Stanley? You remember? Best in the city, whoa. best on the block, whoa. two hey, but he's got a tiny little... Whoa, 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 whoa! 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 Stop right there! I'm warning you, Weems, not another word. Ah, uh, truth hurts, eh, Stanley? I also notice when you get excited, your scrotum recedes into your body whoa. and your forehead glistens with sweat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, I see some forming right see, now. See, see, you must be getting excited. Better move the desk back two inches. <laughs> That's it. You bastard. Oh, are you as turned on as I am? No. You pop. Oh, puff. That's all we have time for. Join us next time on ESPN UK. It's time for Gardening Tips with Willie Nelson. Let's talk about parsley. There are basically two kinds of parsley. Mm -hmm. You've got your uh, curly parsley. Curly parsley. So, yeah, and you... Uh, and your Indian parsley. I don't know where that is. In Indian parsley? I Italian parsley. Oh, Italian yeah, parsley. Yeah. Oh, what's the coming to go? <laughs> hey, chop it up. Put on a spaghetti sauce. Uh, <laughs> or the Indian parsley. You got the oil parsley. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. And I'm not very high. No, no, I know. But I, I am uh, very... <laughs> Welcome back to the show where donuts are our friends.
Well, they would be, but we've eaten them all. My first guest tonight, though, is an actress and a poker player. She's a good friend of the show. She's a beautiful woman. Please welcome the lovely Jennifer Tilly, everybody. Jennifer Tilly. Well, All Ms. right, Jennifer. Quick, Craig, I don't have time for pleasantries. I'm here with an agenda, and I'm going to spit it out right away. Wow. Before your studio, before the audience at home turns off the TV and goes to bed. No. Uh, yes, <laughs> my friends all say, I saw you on Craig last night, and you came out, and you looked good, and then I don't know what happened. I must have fallen asleep. So I know it happens. I am up for the World um, Series of Poker Tournament of Champions, which is like basically all the best poker players in the world and me. And so I need the votes of the people at home. So if you go to the World Series of Poker website and you vote for me, just vote for me. There's a lot of other people you can vote for, but don't get distracted because I'm the one you're supposed to vote for. Then I will perhaps win the World Series of Poker Tournament of Champions. See, no, 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 wait, no, wait, no, wait. Yes. Yes. No, no. Other than that, how have you breasts? <laughs> And I know you think that I'm like very self-centered that I come out and I talk about how I want to win something. I don't care what I've, you talk about. <laughs> I've been having a lot of downtime in the past few years and I've been writing a book and the book is about my life. And when I look back over my life, I realize it's going to be a really boring book. No. And one of the things that I noticed, you know, when you have regrets, I mean, you're probably like, oh, I wish I didn't eat that donut. Or I don't think you have very big regrets in your life. But my regrets are I haven't slept with enough famous people. Like, if I slept with really famous people, I could sell my, my book could be on the bestseller list, but I have not slept with very many famous people. I've slept with people that you have to sort of describe who they are. Like, you have to say, oh, you remember that guy and he guest starred on Desperate Housewives twice. And you slept with him? No, I might have. Right. But anyway, so I was thinking, like, maybe, um, how's that wife thing coming along? Because I was thinking it might be really good for our um, career, your career, my career, if we had an affair. Because, um... All right. <laughs> Because I think it would be really good for the ratings, number one. I said yes. I think it would make me relevant. I think that they could, we could be on the cover of Us Weekly or Entertainment, what, uh, Inquire, National Acquire, right? Sure. You could be in the middle. Your picture would be biggest because you're the no, biggest no, star. No, no, my picture would not be the biggest. Yeah. <laughs> They want and to sell then, the magazine, that's what it is. And then your, your wife would be on one side, she looks sort of pale and fragile and maybe a little bit dowdy. And then I would be on the other side and I would look like a total slut. And then they would say, the talk show host, the betrayed wife, the degenerate gambler, that would be me. And, um, and then you would be getting a lot of publicity. Uh, and I would be relevant again. Well, uh, no, no, wait. No, 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 wait. Yes, uh -huh. No, no, the, but there's a problem here. One, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I just thought about it. I can't. Why, is that? Because I'm married. Yes. Yeah, I... I but just if you weren't married, it wouldn't be an affair. It would just be, a, like, a relationship. Oh, that... that yeah, I see your point. Uh, <laughs> but my wife would cut my testicles off. There's other things we can do. We don't need testicles, Craig. I'm very talented. You, you, you <laughs> might... You I mean, might not get, I'm kind of attached to them, is what I'm saying. I... One thing I've noticed about you, Craig, is you have words that you like. Like, you like genitalia, you like to say that, you like to say penis, and you like to say testicles. And um, I don't know what that means, but... Testicles? I... Testicles. Oh, I thought you said testicles, like, it's fantastical. <laughs> Are you expecting someone? <laughs> Is that Craig oh, Kilburn? No, 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 no. <laughs> that's, uh, that's Jeff Peterson. He's a skeleton robot sidekick. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. You've been on the air a long time, right? Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he was actually a youngster when we started. <laughs> yeah, poor old Jeff. Do you, do you like robots and skeletons? Uh, well, you know, I haven't really given a lot of thought. I do like mechanical things that move, so... Hello. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah, right, there you go. I could probably have a lot 
bit of fun with Jeff Peterson if he could say other things besides ooh yeah and very interesting. <laughs> Why are you doing that very interesting and tasticles thing? What is this, a new way of talking? I don't know. That's my valley girl talk. All right. You're not from the valley, though, are you? No, I am not. <laughs> are you doing well in Vegas with your gambling? Because I'm imagining if I'm playing poker well, against you, all I'm thinking is brass, brass, brass. <laughs> Do you use your breast to your advantage in poker? Uh, yeah, sometimes if somebody is about to draw out on me, I just hit him in the head with one of them and it, it kicks him right out. <laughs> what, what does draw out on me mean? You know, if I have a really good hand and somebody is about to get a better hand, then, you know, it's good to use all the weapons you have in your arsenal. And so, yeah. um, so you use your breasts. What do you okay. do then? You, you kind of just... You know, the thing this? about poker, it's not a very good career because I was an actress before I was a poker player. And when you're an actress, you get a very large paycheck after you finish doing what you do. Mm. In poker, you gamble. You'll play for like maybe three or four days. And at the end of three or four days, you have a lot less money than what you started with. Well, this, this sounds like talk show hosting. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it's it's not a it's not a very good career. My biography is going to be actually a very sad little tome. Really? It's like yes, she started out. She came to Hollywood. She saw the bright light. She slept with not very famous people. She got the into gambling. She won a bracelet. Her career dribbled down. Won a down bracelet? To, yes, I won a World Series of Poker bracelet. Oh right, I thought you meant just like a bracelet. You know. That. Well, that's because you're not in the poker world. In the poker I'm not, world, you win World Series of Poker bracelets. They're very coveted. You can sell them on eBay for a lot of money, but um. <laughs> It's like selling your Super Bowl ring. You have to wait until you've really hit hard times before you sell it. Well, yes, but really hard times are coming. If we had an affair, oh, I would probably sell it to the National Enquirer. For how much? Uh, well, you're Craig Ferguson, maybe about mm, $10,000. Oh, stop. I don't know. <laughs> 40 bucks, I'm thinking, you'll get for it. Yeah, but I would get priceless publicity. They say Jennifer Tilly tells all. There would be a fantastic picture of me. Well, let's me. talk through the affair a mm. bit first. What would it consist of? Uh, is there anything breasty involved? Or is this... Uh... I think we would probably be... Um, we would probably be con con conversing. Right. Uh, and then I would say, I want to see what's under that kilt. And... Then... <laughs> You would say, I'm sorry, there's nothing under there. My wife removed my testicles, and then I would say... It's fantasticals. I would, <laughs> I would say, bring in the robot. Hmm, yeah. That would be our affair. Well, that, that doesn't sound that exciting, really. Well, no, it's fine. No, it, sounds, it sounds good. It sounds, it sounds good. Would I have to take up poker at all? No, not at all. All right, good, because I, I... I like men that are dumber than me. Uh, no, not dumber than me, but I, I don't like people to outplay me, so if you would... Me like chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> Craig, your skin is so soft. Yeah, I don't work. Yeah. yeah. There's no, no calluses in No, are. no, never a day's work in it. Oh, there's something hard and unpleasant yeah. on your hand. Oh, it's your ring. Yeah, <laughs> no, it is. Don't no, actually, when touched by another woman, we, you got five seconds to leave the room. This thing's going to go off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's about time you married Phil. Are you and Phil still going out? Um, yes, Phil, my boyfriend, he's a poker player too. He's um, he's going to pull a sleep deprivation stunt where he's in Las Vegas and he tries to sleep as little as possible. He's going to try to break... Nobody ever Guinness. tried that in Vegas. Uh, he's, well, he's going to do it in an official capacity. He's going to try and break the Guinness Book of World Records. And so um, I feel like I should be there to hold his hand and, and, you know, make sure he doesn't fall off his chair and get a concussion. Right. But it's not very interesting to hang out with people that are struggling to stay awake. And so, <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to, like, run around, like, while he's sort of at that chair, I could do whatever I want. So I think I'm going to go around and party and have a good time. And, you know, every now and then I'll check my Twitter to see if he's still alive. What's your twitter -y tweet name? I don't have a twitter -y tweet name. Okay. I check Phil's Twitter okay. to see what's going we, on. We, we have to go. It's commercial break. A commercial break? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So Jennifer Tilly, everybody. Jennifer Tilly. Yeah. is known as the Misfit of Magic. His new magic set is available in stores this fall. Jeez, if I had a nickel for every time I'd said that on this show, 
please welcome the hilarious and mystifying Ed Alonso, everybody. Ed Alonso. <laughs> Well, Craig, I brought my little pal, Bob the Duck. There he is. Oh, adorable. Jen, let me get him out of there so you can... Isn't he cute? Look at that. Oh. Now, he's very tricky, so you're going to have to keep your eye on him. You remember last time, you th I made him appear from thin air. You said he was in my pants. Yeah, yeah, he came out of your pants. <laughs> that, was that wasn't the duck. Okay. <laughs> ah, and a bucket. An empty bucket. I'm going to bring it over so that you can take a look here. Right. And the people at home, empty bucket. Reach inside. Bucket. Empty. Ah! No. <laughs> Swallow it up into a tiny bucket. No, it's an empty bucket. Now give it a big hug. Put your arms around it. That way you can really guard it. Perfect. I'll be right. You should get it a dinner and a movie first. It'll be more fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Bob, come on out. Here we go. Ooh. All right, settle down. Here we go. You ready, Bob? Into the magic box. <laughs> All right, Bob, here we go. Come on, sweetie. Here we go. Come on. You've got a duck. Hup. Bob! <laughs> trying to get out of there. Be right with you. Okay. And now. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's not the duck. Adorable. So sweet. We go. The duck. I almost forgot. <laughs> okay. Now, this is where you have to really watch closely. All right, buddy. There you go. All right, now, watch the birdie. Hup! Magician was pretty good, wouldn't he? It's okay. No, I liked it. I, I, I wish to make the girl jump out of the bucket. That would have been awesome. Yeah. yeah. You don't have a duck on you anywhere, do you? Nope. Yeah. Right. I got this awesome mug, though. Yeah, well, maybe you can take that back, show it to your friends who've actually watched the show, buddy. They'll be... <laughs> anyway, take it out. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.